Welcome to another Argicom video. In this video, we will be looking at how to install the Arduino IDE, add boards in it, and run the examples. So let's get started. Firstly, you should search online for Arduino IDE to get the installer. The search engine will take you to a download page. We will first show you how to do that on Windows 10. After clicking the download link, the donate page pops up. We recommend you contribute to the Arduino software, or you can do that later and click just download for now. Once you've downloaded the installer, you can open it and just keep clicking next to finish the installation process. Then, the Arduino IDE will show up in the start menu. Click on it and the program will be loaded. So what's next? In our first demo, we will show you how to use the Argicom Mini SPI camera on an Arduino Uno board. To make that work, the libraries and sketches should be downloaded from our GitHub page, which will be added to the IDE later. Unzip the downloaded library. Then find the Arduino library folder. And copy the first folder of the extracted files, named Argicom, to the Arduino library. Then go back to the IDE. In Tools, Boards. Select Arduino Uno. In Tools, Port. Select the port of Uno. Go to Files, Examples. Then go to Arjicom Mini, Examples. Now hit the right arrow button and wait while the IDE uploads the sketch to the board. Then go back to the Arduino Library folder and find the right Arjicom host app. Now you can start to see the images following the steps in the video. If the board you plan to use is a third-party one, you may have to add it to the Arduino board manager before you can use the example sketches. This video will also show you how to do that with Arjicom ESP32 Uno PS RAM board. To put that simply, you will add a JSON file to the board manager as an additional boards manager URL. Then it will show up in the board manager. and you can click to install the board. Once the new board is installed, you can just go like the other boards by selecting the board, then the port, then the examples. Then hit the right arrow button to upload the example sketch. Once it's uploaded to the board, you can open the serial port, and then connect to the ESP32 Wi-Fi. Once connected, you can go to a browser and type 192.168.4.1 to see the control panel. Now for the ESP8266 board. You can do it in a similar way, just with a different JSON file for the additional board manager URL. Then upload the sketch, Open the host in the serial port. For Mac OS and Linux, you might have to download and install the Arduino IDE in a different way, but the subsequent steps, including adding boards and uploading sketches, should be the same. On Mac OS, you can expand the downloaded zip file and then just double-click the file to install the IDE. On Linux-based systems, like Ubuntu, you can download the related file and extract the downloaded file. 
enter the folder and open terminal on it. Then run an install command on the terminal. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please follow us, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, and hit the like button. See you in the next video.